Hello there, I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm here for T Stimac here for a second game, which means I'm officially no longer special guest. You'll always be special to us, though. Aww. So I think we've <laughs> did that joke already. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so what we're gonna do because we've been true. playing a lot of a lot of Dark Souls, and that game is very dark and nihilist, and it, generally a downer for it, the it most re- part. It really is. It's uh, it is a, uh, it is definitely a stare into the abyss situation. So we were gonna play some Bomberman, the the cute, colorful, uh, you know, uh, game about colorful. exploding things, I'm, cartoony like. I am actually really excited about that because I have never played a Bomberman game, but I I have seen a, a lot of Bomberman art, and it looks just like so cute and fun and very wholesome, and it won't be just a grim, dark, gray palette nightmare world. Where there is not but ceaseless violence and death, so this is going to be this is going to be great. So uh, Bomberman's a big story franchise. Which one are we going to be playing? Um, I figured we'd start with the Xbox 360 one, Bomberman Act Zero. Okay. Uh, which is a team up between uh, Konami, the owner of the franchise, and Hudson Soft, who I did not know was still a game company in 2006. So Act Zero is just like uh, is this like a prequel? Um, I think it's a standalone title. Just based on some of the uh, changes that they went with. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, alright. Well, let's give it a shot. Uh, connecting the network. There is no network. This is the <laughs> Xbox 360. Yeah. I can't imagine that Konami was too worried about keeping the servers up for this. Uh, let's see. Battle Com Players. Battle Com Players in single player mode. I don't... I don't... We'll, we'll do standard. We'll do standard. Standard, I think. Unless... Standard, and if we decide to play some more for some reason, we can always do the other mode. Alright, I'm excited to see... Okay, so that... I'm gonna I'm gonna say just now, this Silhouette Man... Oh. <clears throat> they did uh, go with some uh, aesthetic changes for the, 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 the reboot. So... You get to make your Bomber Man. I mean... Can I have a little bobblehead? Is that... Can I have a cartoon bobblehead man? Uh, your head will get bigger. Uh, they're gonna graft a bunch of stuff to it here in a minute. Okay. I feel I've been misled. <laughs> Perhaps just a scotch. Um, this was their attempt at sort of a, a grim, gritty reboot. Uh, I don't know why the Bomberman franchise needed that, but uh, here we are. So I, I was going to go with blue, because blue is a very soothing color. <laughs> and it seems like they got out ahead of me on that one. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I think they wanted to make sure that you were very... Very sad. Very angry. And just very... Let's go with orange, because I think that's where I am right now on the terror threat level. <laughs> We are talking about a Explosion Man game, so that's fair. So, well, there is a plus side to the 90s aesthetic with the armor there, where the, the guys get a lot and the gals get very little. You die in one hit anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's true. I mean, there is no amount of armor that protects yeah, you from test explosions. Test subjects thrown in the cage are to be transported <sighs> to the experiment station via air ducts within the prison. Hey, this is one of those cyberpunk futures with man-sized air ducts. And there's a reason in the lore. <laughs> so, I, you, you said that this is the very 90s character design aesthetic. I would like to point out that this game was made in 2006. And yeah. I know that games take a long time to make. But, did this one? <laughs> well, uh... I mean... I think they had to hire a lot of new art artists and stuff. I mean, none of the old assets would really work for this. I Amazingly, though... Oh, what? Oh, I died. You, I blew you myself up. You don't want to walk into your own backfire. Okay, well, I am dead. This is comforting. I am back on familiar ground, and I am ready to go. Alrighty. Uh, amazingly, though, this one, in spite of all of its harsh, grim aspects, does mechanically... Oh, wow. Whoa! Dumped oh. me right to the start. Okay. I failed the tutorial. So, I think when you were saying that, you know, 
they didn't maybe spend a lot of time on this game. You may have been right. Usually you go back to a lobby or... <laughs> I'm going to try the other the other play mode. And... At least character gen is easy. Yeah, I get two choices. Two choices and color. <laughs> that's more than you get in Zelda. That's that's very true. That, that is, is that is literally twice as many choices as you get in most Zelda games. Twice as many. Yeah, often. Uh, like not What's at first. The one? Eventually, you get to put Link in a different shirt. Ah, oh, that's fair. Okay. okay. Yeah, At least the new one, you get to put yeah. him in a lot of different shirts. Okay. Hey, we're back to this. All right. Oh, I see what the difference is. The this gives you a, a bit different tighter. camera. Yeah. Okay. A. We'll set a bomb. There's a bomb there. I'll stand over here where I will not be exploded. Good job. I will say the other play mode feels a lot more like classic Bomberman. Okay, I can uh, zoom in and out with the triggers, which... Uh, I don't see zooming in being okay. super useful, I'm going to be honest. Oh, here we go, here we go. Um, this is still not great. I would not go so far as to say that I hate this, but I hate this. Uh, so you want to blow up blocks. Uh, one, it gives you more places to go. Okay. And uh, also, that's where power-ups live they're inside of some of the blocks. It is nice to know that there are power-ups. This was a piece of information I did not have a moment ago. Uh, that was always sort of the, the big sticking okay. point of okay. the... Yes, okay, okay you, can now place, bomb. you can now place two bombs at a time. This means that you can chain them together, and this is the strategy of, of the Bomberman franchise, is being able to link up explosions and being able to increase the range of your explosion. Uh, my you bombs do not go very far right now. Not right yeah. now. They're stock right now. There's a power-up that gives you larger range. Okay. Uh, that will be important later, because you're going to want to try and trap that other guy within your uh, explosions. Okay. Well, that's probably what that fire power-up is. Probably. It, I, I don't know. Oh, well, you just picked up... You, now you can drop three bombs. Oh. 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 Oh, heck. Doing Good. fine so far. And yeah, that makes your bombs bigger. Okay. Well, big friendly icons are helpful. Oh, I'm running out of time. Oh, yeah. You oh. have... Uh, the outer edge is going to start turning Whoa. into very bad things. In order to force everyone into the center, in order to Whoa. play. So you're, not, you're probably not going to want to be on those yellow Okay. Bricks. You win by default. You won because the stage started collapsing in like order to the force majority, everyone to the middle. Like the majority of the victories in my life. <laughs> I can deal with that. Okay, so... I am the superior bomber man. Clearly. Man, I I am having a lot of trouble getting past this character design, I tell you what. So, I didn't big... know chains had a lot of flex to them. <laughs> The big, the big giant metal mitten is sort of yeah. unsettling for me. I like a asymmetry a lot, but I do think there's a point where it would be hard to be uh, agile. So I, uh, <clears throat> there's definitely a certain amount of uh... in the grim dark future of Bomberman. There's oh war. shoot! Well, you lose. I lost. Yep. I I done blew myself right up. Oh, I just lost all of my power-ups. You have a health uh, bar now. You do? Okay, so that's something else with this mode, is that it's more... I don't know, top-down gaming. Shootery. I will say that mechanically, it does look to play surprisingly like a Bomberman game, in spite I, of its garish appearance. I don't think my opponents can pick up... Uh, power-ups? Yeah. Well, that's convenient. That's weird. Usually you have to worry about them just speed running the game. <laughs> okay, I think I got one you of them. You did! Oh, heck. Nope, I'm dead. I died. I killed myself. That is commonly how I go about it. Uh, what we got over here? Got a um, new... The longer you stay in fire, the more damage you take. Oh. oh. You only have four hit points left, though, so... Next one will kill you. Left. Oop. But, uh... Yeah, no, the other one looks to be very classic Bomberman. Yeah. Uh, in spite of the weird 
stuff. So this I just, is I can never reconcile this game with the rest of the franchise. This is a little more puzzly than uh, I was oh. initially expecting it to be. Yep, Bomberman games are, oh. are puzzle games. I remember a minute ago when I said, uh, oh, there we go. Chain explosions. Chain explosions. I did. I hadn't seen it yet, but okay, I'm dead again. Uh, I made it to round two. How many rounds? Uh, I yes. don't remember. It's it's been a while since I dredged oh. this one up. Oh, I do boy. think it's sort of a Warhammer 40k. There is only more. That's lobby just lobby. that's just not sustainable. You know, they made all these changes and they couldn't actually include a story mode. Just want to point that out. Uh, well, they were really excited about that sweet multiplayer, that world battle. <laughs> You know, it was the first time, uh, if you don't count the previous console generation, where you really had the computing powder for that. So, good job, Xbox. There was a bit more. There was a bit more infrastructure for them to include uh, multiplayer. I know a lot of the 360 games touted their smooth multiplayer experience. Uh, you know, you can. You I can... think this one actually ran pretty well, except for the part where you could never find anyone to play with. Well. You, you could on day one, I'll bet. You could probably find somebody to play with at launch. I, I bought mine used, so I never got to experience that joy. I think that at this point it is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I think at this point it is sudden death. In this <laughs> mode. Ah, yeah. Though so I don't know, and I am uh, making you just have to get out of the tutorial. I, w I will say that I miss the sweet, happy chiptune music. Uh, you this one went for sort of a industrial vibe. Let's go. Uh, oh, oh, heck! Now, okay, yeah, I guess they do take the... Uh... Yep. Uh, I think you got a speed power-up, so you move a bit faster nah, now. they got a speed power-up. Oh, did they? Uh, we're think... rocking the... Explosion radius power. Ah. Hey, there we go. Hooray. Ultimately, that worked out for you. So, survival time of 57 seconds. Yeah, I am be. really just not... I am not digging... Oh, no. We're boobs jiggled. Oh, this so is real strange for metal to be that... I was going to say, and the metal did. Oh, I do not. No. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Okay. The FPB or the standard that determines if you have a health bar or not. Okay, okay, okay. Those so. are our play modes. Right. Yeah, I don't know why everybody can do the grim and gritty mutant. I mean, I do think this was their third attempt at 3D, though. I think that maybe the answer to why you needed the grim and gritty reboot, uh, specifically at this time in history, might have been September 11th. Oh. Like, everything had to be gro more grown up and aware of its place in the world. A, a loss of innocence, perhaps? Yeah. I just thought maybe it was so that I would appreciate what I had. Maybe. Because the previous two games didn't, like, set the world on fire in terms of sales, either. They did a, a far cry better than this, but they, they had their growing pains. Right. Um, this is not a franchise that transitioned to 3D easily. Uh, yeah, I can I can kind of see that. They had one for the uh, the N sixty four, which camera angles weren't too bad because they sort of fixed it like this, but the explosion radiuses were a lot harder to predict. Yeah, because they made them round like explosions instead of the big like cross shaped explosions that the franchise has always employed. Right, and then. They made a weird sort of, like, 3D... They wanted to be Mario 64, or, uh, uh, I don't know, Sonic, before they went crazy. Like I think you mean all the way crazy. Adventure Battle? Adventure Battle 2? I don't know. Sonic Adventure, if I remember right. Now, I've never played it. Uh, but I did watch every episode of the Run Button YouTube channel's 30 Years of Sonic Let's Play. Mm. And they, uh... They definitely played, uh... The... 
the adventure battle franchise. Yeah, the adventure ones and seem to enjoy it. I, I will say that a lot of people use them as their sort of... This is, this the is last, when Sonic went back. This is, this is the last time that you can buy a Sonic yeah. game and not print. Now the map's going to fill up. Yeah, pick it up on that. Being towards the middle is going to be good. Uh, hey! Hey, look, they ran you. directly into the fire to get out of the game before we were. I'm convinced well, they've made the right decision. <laughs> well, I mean, clearly they, they know that there is no end to this. <laughs> it, it feels very... Deeply and profoundly upsetting. I mean, that that is deeply and profoundly upsetting every time. Yeah. But deeply and profoundly upsetting when you get the feeling that the uh, the NPC opponent knows something you don't, and that is that they shouldn't be playing this game anymore. It's uh, not great. Not a great feeling. Gonna, yeah. Gonna be honest. Oh. Too bad guy. So they dropped one of your playmates, like, literally right next to you, too. Yeah, I saw that. Um, but yeah, the one for the Dreamcast, which got ported to the Oh Game yeah, Game, and uh, your explosions will penetrate through blocks now. Yeah, I picked up on that. <laughs> which is both good and bad. I mean, most things are. Uh, but yeah, the, the Dreamcast slash uh, GameCube one just really did not have a good sense of camera or 3D spaces. Mm -hmm. It was not good. I feel like they tried really hard, but their development team had to learn a whole new skill set. Uh, uh, I know a lot of a lot of genres really had a hard time adapting to 3D. That's very true. Now you can uh, buy three bombs at a time. I mean, platformers, shoot 'em ups fighting games. Yeah. All of these were not originally thinking of a three-dimensional space, but a, a 2D plane of some kind. It feels like the moment people knew that they could put things in 3D, they decided that they probably should, and the thing that we wanted in 3D was everybody to be sad or <clears throat> murdered. <laughs> now, I could be wrong about that. You know, I mean, the push to 3D did happen earlier than some companies might have liked. Uh, notably, again, Sega. Uh... I mean, the Sega Saturn was designed with a, a 2D plane style of gaming in mind, because polygon models just looked awful at that point. Um, hey, I think I did a good job that time. You did. You did. Grab that fire, you can reach most of it across the screen. Whoa. Right off. But I mean, looking back at any of the early PlayStation games, our ability to render polygon anything was pretty rudimentary by today's standards. That's very true. And meanwhile, if you look oh, at... Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Fortunately, you had some shields. Whoa. So... You picked up, like, a harder or something. But, I mean, if you look at any of the games on, like, the Super Nintendo, even, we got really good at 2 Yeah, it's true. So I think it took us a while to get back to the point where we could make, like, visually pleasing games again. Like, we could make very technically impressive games, but that doesn't necessarily equal I want to play that. That's true. That's very fair. Oops. I done hecked up. Oh, I hecked up twice! You just follow the NPCs leave trying to escape the, the world of death. <laughs> Unfortunately, you had too much health to be able to do so. Uh, You're in for another round. Like that, I, uh... We I, shouldn't be addressing the game that way, like, Oh, you're stuck for another round. <laughs> like, this isn't... I'm not trapped within the fiction of Catherine. Like, that's not what's going on here. I'm doing this of my own free will so we can have a fun time on mic for the people at home. But this is uh, legitimately the least fun I have had with moment-to-moment -moment gameplay since last time I tried to play any online shooter. I do think that was where they took their inspiration from, honestly. No, it defo feels that way. It, it definitely has the, the multiplayer deathmatch sort of feel rather than like, hey, let's play this fun you know, puzzle battler with friends. Yeah. I, I'm very much in favor of any game that 
the start of the sales pitch is fun with friends. Well, I hecked up. Oh no, I guess I can't play anymore. <laughs> I definitely did not stand by that bomb on purpose. I think on that note, we might just bring your torment to an end. Thanks for watching. Maybe like and subscribe if you want to see more of... Well, please please don't ask me to play more of this. It's really, really bad. We will play literally any other bomb in that. This is a... <laughs> This is an actively painful experience for me. But I, but I hope it was at least amusing. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Well, Have see a good you night. If, if you want to comment what Bomberman game we should play that is good and will be a good time for all the good boys here, please do.